Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to go over my LCS All Pro teams. Um, keep in mind this is 100% stats based. Um, somebody suggested in the comments I should just be that rational league person that kind of just looks at stats, talks about it. Um, and honestly I prefer to do it this way anyways. This is how I've done it in the past. Um, on here we have the stats that stuck out as to why these players are where they are um, on, on this board. Um, you can have the eye test all you want. Eyes do have bias. How much bias remains to be seen, but nonetheless, they do. Um, so, we'll start with third team in top. Uh, Rich from Dignitas, the only representative from Dig on the board. He was first in KP at 58.9% amongst top laners. Damage share first at 26.2%. DPM 596 and most champions played 10 in 15 games. So Rich, very dominant in those stats, but everything else lackluster. Bottom half of the league for the most part, which causes him to be third over the aggregate. Second team, Sniper from 100 Thieves, the rookie. Uh, gold per minute, 411 was first. Solo kills, 12 was first. Second in DPM at 549, and CS difference at 7 um, CS at the end of laning phase of 15 minutes. First team, Bwipo, was first in gold difference ahead of his lane opponent, 293. Otherwise, he was second in CS per minute at 8.4, gold per minute at 408, damage share 22.1%, and uh, champions played at 9 in 14 games. Jungle Inspired was third team. Um, KDA led the way with five. CS per minute was second at 6.3. And CS difference was second at seven. Everything else was third or worse amongst junglers in the LCS. Contract second team. Most champions played at 12 in 15 games in the jungle and had the second biggest gold difference at 170 across the other nine categories I looked at. He was ahead of Inspired in most of them. Um, Blabber, MVP of the league, um, once again, and first team jungler. Um, he was first or second in all 11 categories that I looked at. Um, so... CS per minute, 6.6. .6, gold per minute, 363. Uh, KP, 83%. Um, damage percentage, 16.5. And at 15 minutes, he was ahead in gold, CS, and XP, 448, 11, 449. Solo kills, he had three, which also led the way amongst junglers. I mean, he was a carry-oriented jungler, and he dominated in that regard. Um, KDA, second at 4.2. Damage per minute, second, 365, and second in champions played at 11 across 14 games. So we also have to say he didn't play carry-oriented champs every game. May have played them more than other people, but Inspired also had carry-oriented numbers, but was not as high in um, the other categories. Mid lane third team, Mask, only Immortals representative. CS per minute, first in mid at 9.7. Damage percentage first at 31.8%. Second in CS difference with 6 and XP difference at 279. So ahead of his lane opponent at 15 minutes would then carry that and get fed with resources. And then, I mean, lead the team in damage in terms of share. Quid, second team mid lane. Damage per minute first at 738. Champions played 12 and 14, also first, second in KDA at 4.3, and tied for second in solo kills with four. First team mid, Jojo Pune. KP, 72.8, and at 15 minutes was ahead in all three laning categories. Ahead 443 gold, 15 CS, 390 XP, so the mid jungle duo Dominant for Cloud9, and that is no surprise. Second in CS per minute at 9.6, gold per minute at 438, and solo kills with four. Third team bot laner. So um, when it came to bot lane, it's the stats are obviously a disaster zone because of the Senna games. Um, and because of that, I really only utilized four stats. 
KDA, kill participation, damage divided by gold, which is a stat that um, I do and also Gerbil does in uh, the Discord. He posted, well, the, he posted a, um, a, a document on the Discord in regards to this, and it's something that I had done last off season as well and compiled for last year in my extra content tab. Um, just something that I think is, is a stat that we need to really start embracing, especially in a meta like this, where how much damage is actually being done relative to the gold a player gets. Are they actually getting work done or are they not? Because, you know, you see the perception of it all, but where, do, where does it actually stick? So we're doing that stat for um, 80 carries bot lane and um, then champions played. So there's only four stats. I wasn't going to use CS per minute, gold per minute or DPM or any of that because of the, the Senna game. So Bevoy, only Shopify Rebellion representative, third team damage divided by gold. He was third at 1.75. So that means 1.75 damage per minute for every gold per minute. Meech from 100 Thieves, the rookie, was first in this category at 1.91. And then there's FBI, who was first, in, uh, second in KDA at 5.3 amongst 80 carries, second in KP at 75.5, and second in damage divided by gold at 1.88. Yes, Berserker isn't on here. Masu isn't on here. Neither one were over the aggregate as high. Now, Berserker led in KDA, but I think was like, seventh in champions played like he didn't play many different champions and things like that so he didn't end up on the board uh support we only have three categories uh kda kp and champions play damage divided by gold not fair to the players that did not play um many senna games so we're not including that um we're not including the ward situation because of that as well um you know, however many, you know, if you if you were the Nautilus in the Senna bot lane, for example, Senna fa fa say, fasting Senna lane, your your vision score is going to suck as well. So um, couldn't utilize those stats. I am attempting in my top performer series. Um, so, well, for support, I'm not doing it necessarily uh, the, the vision part, but I am combining bot lanes um, in that. So the bot laners are not individually being consider top performers it is um, a, a duo effort so um, just to kind of combat the Senna situation so Isla third and champions played in nine and 14 games core JJ was first at 10 and 14 games so it kind of shows just how all over the place the stats were because these guys are only first and third in one stat but uh, I mean high enough maybe fourth in the other two to validate them being up here Buzio, uh, first in KP at 79.5%, first in Champions played at 10 out of 14, second in KDA at 4.4. So similar to FBI, Buzio's top two in pretty much all the categories, if not all of them, and that's that's why he's on there. So first team is Bwipo, Blabber, Jojo, Pune, FBI, Buzio. Second team, Sniper, Contracts, Quid, Meech, Core JJ. Third team, Rich, Inspired, Mask, B-Boy, Isla. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, become a YouTube supporter, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.